Gabby Douglas was the first African American ever to win the all around gold and the first person ever to win both team and individual gold at the same Olympics. Grace, gold, and glory, Gabby Douglas. Gabrielle Christina Victoria Douglas was born December 31, 1995, in Virginia Beach, Virginia, to parents Timothy Douglas and Natalie Hawkins. She is 4 foot 11 inches right now. She has three siblings. She began training in gymnastics at age six when her older sister convinced her mother to enroll her in gymnastics classes. At the age of eight, Douglas won the level four all-around gymnastics title at the 2004 Virginia State Championship. In October at age 14, Douglas moved from Virginia to Iowa to train under Lang Chow. Douglas was homeschooled by her host family that she had to live with while she was living in Iowa. That all paid off because her first elite meet was in 2012, the CoverGirl Classic in Chicago, Illinois, where Douglas was placed third on balance beam, sixth on vault, and ninth in the all-around junior division. But Gabby did not stop there. At the Olympic trials, Gabby did awesome and scored a spot on the London 2012 Summer Olympics team with her teammates Michaela Maroney, Allie Raisman, Kyle Ross, Jordan Weber, and they were all nicknamed the Fierce Five. After the Olympic trials is when Gabby and her teammates' fame really kicked in. They were cover stories in many top magazines and guest appearances on many t different TV shows. But Gabby did not let all that fame go to her head. I've learned how to stay humble. I don't want to get in over my head because that is when you lo takes off all of your game. Gabby Douglas I had to face a lot coming through this journey. A lot of sacrifices, difficulties, challenges, and injuries. Gabby Douglas when Gabby walked into the Olympics, she never expected that she would leave changing gymnastics history. Gabby won the gold medal in individual all-around women's gymnastics, becoming the first African-American ever to win that title. Gold medals are made out of sweat, blood, and tears, and effort in the gym every day. Gabby Douglas Fierce Five won the team competition gold medal, which also makes Gabby the first person ever to win both team and individual gold at the same Olympics. I accomplished something big, and that's a memory that I will never forget. Gabby Douglas You just have to be yourself and go full with confidence and be courageous. After Gabby's amazing performance at the Olympics, she, she inspired many young girls of all type to try gymnastics. Gabby says that even though London is done, she still goes to the gym every day to get better and better at gymnastics. Gabby recently wrote an autobiography called Grace, Gold, and Glory, telling all about her life from Gabby's point of view. Gabby has faced many racist people in her gymnastics career. She has learned not to let them get to you. Gabby has been nominated for many awards since London, and has been on many talk shows. One was even with the First Lady Michelle Obama. Gabby won Best Female Athlete for the Cartoon Network Hall of Game Awards. Gabby says that she could not have done this without all of her family, except her dad. Her dad has neglected her and her family, but with her mother, sisters, and brother, they are so happy and could not have asked for a better family. Gabby was also nominated Best Female Athlete at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Gabby Douglas changed gymnastics history by being the first African American ever to win the all-around gold and the first person ever to win individual gold and, and team gold at the same Olympics. Grace, gold, and glory, Gabby Douglas.